Hey guys, this week you will be creating uh, your logo for the company that you started imagining last week. So we'll be working in Gravit Designer. So go ahead and open that up and click on File, New Design. And we'll be working on a 10 by 10 inch canvas. Really make sure that that is in inches. Then click on Create. Okay, so a blank 10 by 10 canvas will pull up on your screen and then you can start creating your icon. That will be the first thing you want to do. Forget about the text for a little bit and just focus on that icon. Um, I've already finished mine, uh, so I'll show you what that looks like here. Um, right there. Okay, so you can see there that I used uh, a picture to start. What you won't want to do is just start drawing and uh, trying to figure out the text and the paths all at the same time and doing that by yourself. Um, really utilize pictures. So I pulled in a picture of this bee and you can see I just traced it. Uh, and I used very, very simple shapes. If I click on this, uh, you can see I used ovals and circles and really just ovals and circles to get the base down. Um, and then I did use the path line uh, right here, the path pin tool to create some of these other things. Uh, so if you forget how to do that, maybe play around with the path tool uh, and the pen tool just to get back in the swing of that. But it's really simple. Um, you can see I didn't go overboard with my lines or anything. I kept it pretty basic. Um, so don't feel like you have to add a ton of detail. Like I didn't add in all of the little little wing lines or anything like that. Um, keep it pretty basic. Uh, just don't go too crazy. I know we don't have too much time. So um, creating your icon will be the first thing that you do. Then you can play around um, with color if you'd like uh, by going over here and clicking on um, you know, color, the fill, things like that. Once you have all of your icon created, my next uh, tip would be to group that icon together so that you don't have to select each individual little piece. Like I don't, I won't have to select each of the wings at the same time. I can just select the whole thing. So to do that, I'm just going to drag a box just like this over um, my I, my icon here, and then if you just right click and say group or you can even say control G and it will group it. Now you can see I've already got my group here um, just like this and now what happens I can move this whole thing around so grouping your icon uh, will be a huge help uh, so you don't have to move each individual piece and again to do that you say control G on your keyboard once you have dragged over the whole thing. Okay, after you have the icon created and the color how you want it, then we can start playing around with text. Uh, so right now you can see um, this is just the plain icon. Now I can play with text and I have two different options here. Um, that is Honey Bee Coffee and it has kind of this more fun, kind of bubbly looking text. Um, but I also have this one here where it looks a little bit cleaner and um, a little more classy looking. Uh, so again, fonts can really tell a lot about your company. So play around uh, with those different fonts. Again, to create a text, you simply click on the text tool. Uh, you type in whatever you want it to be, I need coffee, maybe I want this one to say co. Then I can select the whole thing. I can click on this drop down arrow and select any different type of font that I would like. Um, just keeping in mind what type of mood or feeling you want your company to evoke. Um, so let's just click on, maybe I want it to, I don't want a creepy vibe. Maybe I want it to be more playful and young. Um, okay, so there is the text. I can change the size of it. I can even change the color down here. Maybe I want it uh, to be the same color as the B. Okay, there we go. So there's another um, type of text. Now let's say you wanted um, text that goes in a circle like this. Uh, really easy. All you have to do is create a circle first. And remember, whenever you create a perfect circle, you need to hold the shift key. So I'm going to hold the shift and I'm going to click and drag to create this circle. Then I'm going to click on the text tool and hover over the outline of the circle until it turns red. Then I'm going to click 
and uh, it'll say your text here and then you can type in uh, your logo, your company name. So let's say Honey Coffee Co. There it goes. Uh, you can see it's kind of tilted off to the side. To fix that, um, all you do is click on uh, kind of out on the canvas and then you can rotate this by clicking on that little um, red square and you can move it around. Just like this. Let's say you wanted it on uh, the bottom though. You can right click on this um on on the panel over here um it'll say on path and you can click uh both of these little buttons here on and off and it'll change um it'll say outside or inside of the circle or you can even click on um the reverse button and it'll bring it to the inside of the circle so that the text if you want it like curved like a smile it'll uh sit more on the inside so uh, that is a good way to create a circle text. Then you'll still have the inside color. You will want to um, you know, take that away by either making it white or uh, I would just click on the visibility there so it's just nothing is there. Okay, so that's an easy way to create curved text. Uh, once you have the text exactly how you want it, whether that's in a curve, whether that's straight um, with the font that you want and the color, the last thing that you'll want to do is um, convert your text to paths. So right now, this is still editable. So I could go back in and change the letter. Um, but what happens is whenever we download this, we're going to be downloading it as an SVG, a scalable vector graphic, so that we can put it into a mock-up. Um, and the only downside of that is that if you forget to do this step right here, converting your text to a path, your text and your fonts might change and might not look how you want it. So this is a very important step. Make sure that you right click on your text as soon as it's in the exact spot you want it and say convert to path. Now you can see that each of my letters has an outline around it. Um, each of these has now become like a shape instead of uh, a text. Uh, so from here, we can still move it around how we want, but now it's no longer editable. Uh, so really make sure you have everything spelled correctly before you do that. Okay, once you have your final logo created, I would just go ahead and maybe center everything by selecting everything and then just pulling up those green lines. Center it all, make sure it looks really nice. It's a little low. And a hidden circle there. I'm gonna bring that up a little bit. Okay, there we go. I am going to download it now. So I'm gonna write, uh, click on file and then export as an SVG. It will download and then it's now ready for you to create your mock-up. So that is the step of um, creating your icon and your logo all together. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions. I am here to help. I know this is a little bit overwhelming, but um, please feel free to contact me or uh, just email me. Uh, let me know.